Hi everyone, it's Tasha, and I have a mini album that I am not quite finished with yet, but I'm making the video now because I'm excited and I want to show it off. Um, I got the idea for the album off of YouTube, watching Laura Dennison following the paper trail. She just had like a general video up, um, a, I think it was called a What's Up Wednesday video on a paper bag mini album um so I like I said I'm not finished with this yet um this is the cover so far I basically did the pita cut um here out of some paper to make it look three-dimensional and I wanted to call it under the stars hence the star paper there behind um, I'm probably going to ink some of this or add a little bit, just a slight bit more to the cover, but, um, like I said, I'm not done with this yet. Also, the paper collection I used is American Crafts Campy Trails. It was a collection I bought last summer. Um, I made this album for our camping trip that we're doing later in the summer, and I had gotten it last summer because we were supposed to go camping last summer, and because of the Minnesota government strike or whatever where all the national parks were closed our camping trip got canceled so I saved it till this year <laughs> um so I basically just did this all by hand I had some 12 by 12 chipboard it's not real thick because I was able to cut it with my paper trimmer but um I cut it down to um I want to say this is like six and a half wide by 10 across for the cover. The bags are the regular paper lunch bags that you can buy in the grocery store or whatever. Um, I don't have the dimensions for those, but I'm sure people can figure it out. So Laura's video showed this as being an album that you could basically make any way. You could um, do it as a stand-up album going horizontal or of course you could just do it this way like most albums tend to be um, but I like the idea of doing it this way and I liked her idea of taking some chipboard and making these little flanges so it's a bit sturdier um, for the wear and tear on the album and then she also did every bag different way so um, one bag is going this way there's a tag and you flip it up, and there's another tag, and then it goes the opposite way here. And these pockets are made by um, taking the bottom of the um, mini bag and f folding it up on both sides either way, and then just gluing down the sides, um, which she explains that in her video. I'm not going to go through all that right now, but... Um, that's basically the gist of it. Just there's like a tag and then a smaller tag in each of the pockets throughout. Um, I don't have my pictures yet, obviously, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to leave all of these as tags or put um, some photo mats in maybe or make this just the photo mat. I don't know, but there's lots of room for um, putting little souvenirs that we have from the trip. I could press some leaves and things like that. I just I really love these papers and I love nature and the whole camping thing. I'm so looking forward to it. So um anyhow, so you basically get the idea. I do plan on painting the insides of the covers um with my Ranger paints. I just haven't gotten that far. Um I'll probably just do a real neutral color to match the papers. And then the back of the album is the wood grain. So um, I have these embellishments here that I'll be using once I do have my photos and other things in place. I didn't want to decorate all that yet, not knowing what I might put in here. But um, I just really loved this collection when I found it. And it has a variety of things from camping to fishing to the fire and tenting and um, we do all of those things throughout the summer, but especially on the camping trip. So those will all be used. Oh, and I have buttons that match as well. Um, those will all be used and added later. So perhaps I'll make a, another video later of the finished product. We shall see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.